Hey guys, one of the most common questions that I get asked is what A-levels do you need for medicine? And it's not what you expect. So this potentially could be one of the most boring videos I've ever made, but please don't let to that turn you off because it's quite an important video. Um, after I finish doing my waffling bit, at the end there is going to be some PowerPoint slides where what I've done is gone through all of the universities that I can find that offer medicine and I've looked at, for 2017, I've looked at what um, UCAS points you need, how many, um, like what grades you need, what subjects you need, what additional requirements you need, whether it's um, the BMA or the UK CAT. Um, and the majority of them, in fact all of them, chemistry is the core requirement. Um, some of them require biology as well, so I, I know most of you think that biology is the most important A-level for um, doing medicine, but it's not. Every single place wants chemistry and then other things to go with it. Um, all of the details are kind of like at the end of this video, I've sorted it by um, university alphabetical results or over my website if you want to go and just have it like in front of you, not as a video format because I know that might be a little bit annoying for some of you. Um, but chemistry is the core requirement. Some of them would say like um, other science would be nice, some of them say maths would be nice. Some of them say you have to have three sciences, some say you have to have two sciences. Um, some of them are BMAT, some of them are UK CAT. So if you're applying to um, like four universities that are BMAT and one that's UK CAT, it's kind of you have to sit both of them, which is a little bit of a drag. Um, but you might just want to think about universities that are BMAT or just think about universities that are UK CAT. Um, but um, chemistry is the important one, which I know is going to come as a little bit of a shocker for some of you. When you're thinking about your other A-levels, you need to make sensible choices. So, um, when you're going for your medical degree interview, there are chances I'm going to ask you about your A-level choices. So, if you've picked, um, you know, biology, chemistry, and dance, they're going to ask you, why as a doctor do you think dance is important? And if you can't answer that question sensibly, then maybe we shouldn't be picking dance as an A-level, or French, or music, or art, or history, or politics, or economics, or anything that doesn't directly relate to being a doctor or medicine. Because they're going to ask you about it um, when you go for your medical school, school interviews. And anything that just looks a little bit weird, um, well, you're going to be competing against people that are going to be doing four A-levels, biology, chemistry, physics and maths, okay? The other thing you need to be careful of when you're picking your A-levels is that some places will say that you have to have, like, three sciences, and maths is included as a science for this course, um, but you can't have maths and further maths as two of your A-levels, or you can't have biology and human biology because they're too similar. So you can do further maths, but it won't be counted. Or you can do human biology, but if you do biology, it won't be counted. The other thing is that psychology generally doesn't count as a science in this instance. I know it's generally taught by science teachers, um, but it's generally not going to count as a science. Um, so, there we go. That's what animals you need to do um, medicine. Now it's going to become a boring slideshow.